Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. Today, we're going to start making our way to the railroad. Before we do, we're going to have a few stops. Without further ado, let's get started. Actually, let's put a level in before I forget. I'm pretty forgetful. And then we'll start making our way to the railroad. Kind of. We won't be keeping um, McCready as a companion the whole episode. Let's actually put on our 10 millimeter pistol here. Starting to have fun. We're going to keep making our way down the riverside here. We don't have to worry about too much. Yet, at least. What the? Over there is the amphitheater. We'll end up going to that amphitheater later into the walkthrough. It's just not really important at the moment. If you want to pick up the uh, waypoint, you can, or discover the location. Let's pick this lock. We're going to go backwards um, into the Hallucigen Incorporated and work our way out to the front. That's it. Repeat, a chemical leak has been detected. What? Please evacuate the building immediately. Who's there? <coughs> oh, this can't be good. She's used the overseer <laughs> the guardian. Hey. Time to die. Bastard with the stealth boy. Oh, come on, McCready. Oh, that's how we do things around here. <laughs> Gonna stand right in my way. Look at the shadows. We're gonna grab some canisters here. This is for our quest on um did I grab all this stuff? No, I did not. This is gonna be a quest for the Kim dealer in Good Neighbor. He asked us to get one of these canisters, but we can also make grenades out of these canisters. We only have to give him one. There we go. And we will make uh, the grenades at some point in the walkthrough. Let's disarm the Tesla arc here. This may be a longer video, by the way, today. And I know that my videos are fairly long in the first place, but I, I think it's going to be longer than my usual. Oh, I almost forgot a canister over here. The glowing ones are the ones you want. The ones that are not glowing. Um, well, I mean, I guess you could take them. You can scrap them for steel if you're uh, building up your settlement or anything Please. like that. Evacuate the building. All right, let's go through here. What? Oh. Davy, Davy, what are you doing here? You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> they are losing their mind. So are we. You can lockpick that door if you'd like. I'm not going to. I think that was a legendary. It was. Oh, that's not bad. Agility and perception. Pretty decent stuff there. 
I don't use metal armor, but if I did, I would definitely take that. Well, use it. I did take it. These gunners obviously are fighting each other. There's a chemical leak in the lab, obviously, because it keeps repeating that. But, um, and it's kind of like making these guys hallucinate and see shit and fight each other. It's pretty crazy. It's a cool story. Um, a lot of the terminals in here explain the story. So feel free to read them and whatnot. Like if you hack into that, I think that'll allow you to um, unlock that as well. But I'm not going to. I'll probably come back through here and unlock some of this stuff. <laughs> Just saving us some uh, time here by killing these guys ahead of time. We could hop down there, but nah. Take everybody through here. Lockdown is now in huh? effect. Repeat. Welcome to the Hallucigen Labs observation area. Please step up to the windows for a demonstration of our products and development. If you want, you can push all of those buttons, and they have uh, different things Repeat. like tests that Hallucinogen was working on, and it will test it on the gunners that are trapped inside. I'm not going to because I want the experience from killing the gunners. So I'm just going to go in each room and kill them. But feel free to uh, run some of those tests on them. Some of them are pretty cool. Not for the gunners, obviously, but just kind of cool to do if you don't feel like fighting the gunners. We're splitting all that, right? This one is really cool. Um, setting this test off. <laughs> Jeez, they are losing their fucking minds, aren't they? The security lockdown. Please evacuate the building. A chemical in an order has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. We want to go this way. Nice, some Molotovs. We're about halfway through uh, Hallucigen. This is where we killed all those raiders earlier. Er, no, not raiders, they're gunners. This is where we killed the gunners earlier. You can go over here, there's some loot. Um, I don't think it's very much, but it, it's like an orange toolbox you can loot. Nice. Who's there? What the? You can hack the terminal, turn on these protectrons. Again, I'm not gonna bother. Be careful. Trip wire. Kill them. Kill them all. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate. Down the police. Sweet. Oh, oops. I meant to. Oh, I don't even have to reload. I was sitting there trying to reload. Oh my goodness. Take out that gunner. If we go over here to this table, we have a Tesla Science. Yeah. Pick that up. Because we gotta get all them comic books. All of them. Dirty helmet. Did I? I'm gonna backtrack for a minute. Yeah, hey. there's a gunner right here. Thought I forgot. The the other gunner is fighting is what distracted me. Please evacuate the building. What?
Somewhere there was a grenade. Is it normal for the hairs on the back of my neck to be standing straight up like this? <laughs> I think we're all tripping there, McGreedy. <laughs> Shit's getting real. I think I, there's somebody over there. Nope. I don't know where they're at. Maybe they are. Hold on. Oh, well. Let's get out of here. A chemical leak has been... And we have discovered the hallucinogen. Or hallucinogen, yes. not hallucinogen. Mess. Even though we just went all through it. Is there... My God. Oh, and it's a legendary. This ain't it. <laughs> That's what I call a confirmed kill. I mean, that gunner. Nice. That's pretty good uh, leather armor. Hey, who's there? I must have a concussion. I'm fucking seeing things. Let's, um... Let's go down this way. There's the amphitheater again. Once we get to the Old North Church, we're going to send uh, McCready to Sanctuary. Just because he doesn't really get along with the railroad. He doesn't really like their views. And understandable. To me, I always thought the whale... Uh, the whale... <laughs> uh, I can't talk. Words, Mr. Wayne. I always thought the uh, railroad, oh, come on, railroad was flawed because um, they only save sense. You know, there are slaves in the Fallout universe. Why wouldn't they want to save them too? I mean, you look at the Nuka World uh, DLC. It would have been nice if they would have included the railroad to uh, be able to liberate them. And let's take that gunner out before he's a problem. Um, but yeah, to liberate the slaves in Nuka World, that would have been really cool and a nice touch if you went uh, with the railroad ending. That's just my personal opinion. Um, the game's still just fine the way it is. Now I'm just being nitpicky. We're going to come down this way. And the Old North Church is going to be off to our right here. Take it a right. Right here. This is the Old North Church. We're just coming in through the back. I mean, we could have went a little further and came down to the front. But, I mean, why? <laughs> it's not a big deal. All right, here's the entrance to the railroad headquarters. Jeez, that's a mouthful for me to say today. Let's talk to McCready. Hey. What's up? Here you go. McCready, I think it's time for you to leave. I think you're making a huge mistake, but hey, it's your funeral. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Let's go inside. We're about to meet my second favorite companion. Oh, nice. He was a legendary. We're getting a ton of legendaries. I'm scared to turn it up on a higher difficulty because... Not really scared. Um, it's just... I'll end up getting even more legendaries. And then I'll become even more overpowered. But I think I am going to kick it up a... Uh, difficulty level just so I don't become too overpowered and then we're like breezing through 
the um, game to give a little bit of a challenge. I'm not going on survival, but I might put it on hard. And then if that gets too easy, maybe we'll put it on very hard. So we're about to put in the most obvious password ever mm, it spins. for the railroad. So the password is railroad. <laughs> Very creative. Oh, so it starts with R? Then I, L, go back to the R. Nope, I went over one more. Er, too much. Go back to the A. There we go. The railroad. There we go. <laughs> Most obvious password in the world, huh? Stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the synths' only friends. We're the railroad. So answer my question. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. It's clear you're not with the Institute, but who told you how to contact us? I helped Carl out of a jam. He knows a guy who knows a guy, and, and they hooked me up with a lead. We'll look into that. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are? Deacon, where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out there. Yeah, I've been pretty busy. You know, you're practically famous. Does the Silver Shroud mean anything to you? I heard he took out Sinjin's gang all by himself. Pretty remarkable, huh? And, as if that wasn't enough... Dez, seriously, you haven't heard of him? He's the leader of the Minutemen. It seems like the whole Commonwealth is flying his flag. So you're vouching for him? Yes, trust me. He's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the Institute isn't involved. I'm not 100% sure who kidnapped him yet. I hope for your sake it's someone else. I'll have Deacon look into this. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. We'll do what we can to look into your missing boy. What the Institute has done to your family and others is what drives us. Normally, you're exactly the type of person we try and recruit. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you, nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. 
Thanks. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I don't know if we can trust you, but I hope we can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny weeny bit desperate for new members. If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting to know you game, but we don't have that luxury. Really? Is that all? You just don't give up. All right, I have a short list of people I think would be a good fit for our family. You piqued my interest, so maybe I asked around, did my homework. If you hadn't found us, there's a chance I would have found you instead. Thanks for saving me the trip. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. But I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's gonna be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Sign me up, then. Perfecto! Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Deacon's such a cool companion. We're gonna backtrack and then we're gonna fast travel to the Drumlin Diner. Let's crouch. There's still ghouls in here. I just don't feel like killing them. You can go through and kill all the ghouls if you want and loot some stuff. Let's go outside and then we'll go into our pit boy and, and fast travel really ugh, and fast travel really quick. Let's go into our pit boy and man, I'll tell you what, words are not easy for me today. <laughs> For some reason, I am stumbling all over myself. Let's go to uh, Drumlin Diner. See everybody there. Let's uh, stop crouching here for a second. Ah, trash can uh, Carla. Surprising to see her over here by Drumlin. If you want to go up there, there could be an event going on up at the house if you want. Also, this um, trailer should be lootable again. We looted this uh, much earlier into the walkthrough. But because it's been, I don't know how long, we can loot it again. We're going to follow the train tracks here. And once we get to the overpass, we're going to follow the... Rim, like the rim the edge of the overpass there's some power armor over there if you want to scoop that up just hack that terminal it'll open up the gate or whatever it is there's another dog knew it seen some take a right just kind of follow underneath the overpass here We should see Deacon right here. Deacon? Is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. You can change your face? I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. 
I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Your base was under a donut shop? It's a lot better than it sounds. Well, it was, until it was blown to hell. What happened? Our HQ was strong, defensible. Heck, we thought it was secure. Inside a minute, the Institute troopers breached the doors and turned it into a shooting gallery. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. What exactly are we looking for? I'll tell you when we get inside. I know that's a bum deal, but strategic ignorance has saved our organization more times than I can count. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for rail signs, symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake never caught on. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Got another rail sign, right there. <laughs> Sorry, Deacon. And another. We're probably close. By the way, this is how you learn all the railroads, rail signs. It's pretty cool. See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally nearby, our tourist. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shop. Trust me. Once your friend gets here, how about we have a chat, huh? Oh, thank God. You have a Geiger counter? You have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. Tell me what's going on. I signed on for some light recon, but that little Slocum's Joe of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome synth sons of bitches. The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, Better ask soon. Hey, Ricky. You need something else? You scavenge anything that can help us? We're risking our lives out there. Oh, hell. I suppose I could spare a few things. I don't want your deaths on my conscience. You've done enough for us. Goodbye. Damn straight. Let's go talk to Deacon.
Uh, <clears throat> well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read, too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So, if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. The donut shop has an escape tunnel? What? Doesn't everyone have an escape tunnel? Seriously, though? Thank God for that tunnel. If it weren't for that, there wouldn't be any railroad left. The tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. Now we're gonna be going into the switchboard. This is the old railroad HQ. Man, that looks really pretty. There's mountains. I mean, I know that it's a vast sea of dead trees and nothingness, but I don't know. Still looks cool, man. Come down here. We're going to follow the overpass again backtracking here and we're gonna go to the railroad tracks and we're gonna take a left and follow these down again there's that power armor And the escape tunnel is right here. Where's Deacon at? Let's go inside. We're in. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. What can you tell me about the Gen 1s and 2s? The synths didn't start off as nigh-perfect copies of human beings. The Institute had to work up to that level of hubris. Gen 1s and 2s were stepping stones along the way. The Railroad's not fully united on how we feel about them. What's there to be divided about? Everyone wants to liberate the Gen 3s, the human-looking synths. Some of the synths in the Railroad, like Glory, think we should help earlier models, too. But Gen 1s are basically the same as, well, a Protectron, so the line gets muddy. Do we defend AI rights? Terminals? Hell, turrets? Anytime it gets brought up, <sighs> fireworks. All the old arguments flare up. The upshot is Glory and some others won't run missions like this. Who's Dr. Carrington? All goes well. You'll meet him soon enough. Ready to go. First step is to override the security lockdown. Pretty sure he can unlock the terminal for you, but if not, um, you're gonna have to have Master Hacker. Yep. Okay, so he can open that terminal for you. Someone left a rail sign here. Uh, this one means danger. Yeah, we know, you poor dead bastard. We know. Sweet, we got a level. Let's go ahead and put it into our rifleman. And then we have one more that we can put into our rifleman, and I think we'll just finish off perception. And by then, we should be almost to being able to max out our pistol proficiency. Wait, see the box in the center of that rail sign? That means there's a cache nearby. Looks like Maven managed to hide something before... Well, 
you know. Look around. Go behind this pipe. Find a stash of ammo. Hostile sensor reading. Detected. Tinker managed Movement to turn detected. on the defenses. Curious. Barely slowed the coursers down, but hey, probably saved some lives. I don't think you've ever seen a courser, but they're top of the line in institute. My scanners must be malfunctioning. Hmm. Contact detect any agent. I've seen coursers in here, but if there are, just run. Damaged. Coursers are pretty much um, the institutes like Marines or Assassins. Pretty badass. We'll probably meet a courser towards the end of the walkthrough when we get into the institute and all of that good stuff. Another active terminal. We didn't have time to trip the defenses up ahead. Power them up, and we can give our friends a little surprise. By order of the Institute, you must be destroyed. Critical landlord. Thank you, good turret. I don't think it really got hurt much. Targeting. Okay, we made it to the switchboard now. Let's go into this terminal, hack it, and open up the door. They were wise, Jubilee. We're gonna use the overseer's Is rifle here. Present? There's two more Man. up here. Overactive sensors. Nothing more. Bye bye, Gen 1s. Prepare to be shocked. Not every Slocum's Joe has a massive tunnel complex underneath it. We're entering a secret defense intelligence no agency research detected. lab, a place that never officially existed. It's called the Switchboard. The prototype is locked up in the heart of the facility. Let's grab the U.S. Covert Operations Manual. Yes. We just became even sneakier, which is definitely a good thing. By the way, those terminals, both of them, more lore. I think this one actually turns off the um, laser trip wires here. Pretty sure there's a synth over here somewhere. Yep. I think at the end of the hall, this door is locked. Yep. So if you want to pick that lock and uh, grab some loot, there it is. Hello. I don't know why I keep oh, reloading engaging. right Hostile after I shoot. Form. The Overseer's Guardian, by the way, shoots two bullets, but you only use one. It's a pretty sweet um, assault rifle. Essentially, you're doing double damage. You must be terrified. And then if you max out the Whatever rifleman, you, are, you do some stupid damage. And if you get bloody mess to uh, stack with it, <coughs> you can essentially metagame. But I'm not going to try to do that. I want to keep it interesting for it, the walkthrough interesting a little bit.
Where's that play button? Carrington, Stanley, Salas Grote, Supreme Lex. Open says me. So Tommy Whispers didn't make it out. He died protecting our secrets. Let me see. There. Tommy would want you to have his hand cannon. Don't let its size fool you. Why are you giving this to me? Our best agents carry special ordnance made by Tinker Tom. He's... Well, you'll know when you meet him. Call this gun a vote of confidence. Grab Carrington's prototype. You turn that over to Desdemona, and she'll have to let you into our merry band. That's going to be our new uh, pistol yes. that we use, by the way. There's an elevator at the end of the hall. It should be a hell of a lot easier fighting the chrome domes on this side of the minefield. We're going to crouch again. Be careful. There's some cryo mines on here, or over here. I knew I missed one. And I think that's all of them. Well, Deacon would have set them off if so. Hostile sensor reading. There you are. End of the line. Just power up the elevator. Bye, Deacon. Going up. Oh, I forgot about the bookcase. Yeah, you gotta open up the bookcase and then you can go through the door. Or the elevator. You know what I mean. Let's crouch and go through uh, this doorway. We want to go all the way to the top first. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a behemoth. So I forgot. We, we're a high enough level. There's a behemoth... Uh, super mutant over here, so be very, very Hello. careful. Matter of fact, we can go kill it if we want, real quick, and then we'll head to the old north church and we'll call it a video. So, if we go over here by the super duper mart, we got to meet um, Deacon back at um, the railroad HQ, anyways. But I'm going to save that for the next video. Let me see if this super mutant behemoth is over here first. Yep, there he is. Jesus. Did we not get experience for that? Didn't look like it. Oh well. There's still more? Where are they at? All right. We got what we came for. Let's split up and meet back at the catacombs. Let's get out of here. I do not want to mess with that raider sending many nukes over with his fat man. No thank you. So what we're going to do is, as soon as we can get out of danger, oh my god, or miss every single shot. I'm trying to get out of danger. We're just going to keep backing up. Then we'll go into our pit boy. We'll fast travel to the old north church. And that's where we're in the video. I know I already said that, but I'm going to say it again. You can't stop me.
Oh, there's those mines we just walked over. Okay, well, be, be careful for those mines. I think we can fast travel now. Ah, there's the old north church. Ooh, rad storm. Oh, I didn't mean to run. Let's put our weapon away, turn around, and uh, say our goodbyes. Alrighty, everybody. I want to thank you all for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button and let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to, to uh, be sure to subscribe. Um, until next time, everybody have a good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.